And it is the 18th of August, 2020. It is 4.26 in the morning. I'm the Grumpy Game Dev. And it's day 60 of Seafarers of Spore. And today I am slogging through the middle of a ginormous refactor in which um, the parameter order of uh, injected dependencies is being done and it is quite a slog to do this because um, the only order that made any sense I, I, I attempted to have some sort of order first this then this first this then the other thing no order made any sort of sense so I picked alphabetical Which doesn't doesn't make any more sense than any other order, but it is an order. Okay, you need avatar tar single avatar. Single metric source stub. Message and this one goes up too. Boom, boom. And while it doesn't add anything to, well, it adds to the readability. Oddly enough, world doc that needs these first two single metric source stub avatar single metric single metric single metric sync stub and that one actually goes first so all these places where I'm docking in the world this one hasn't had its order done yet That one's going to be an interesting reordering. Yeah, avatar message, avatar singles. There we go. Boom. Go. But what it does give me, and that's, this, is a, this is a very good thing that it gives me, is it does give me ex knowing exactly where do I inject the dependency. And that's a thing. It is 4.30, which means it's time to stream. So I think this doesn't doesn't do anything. So right now I'm pasting the stub in, knowing full well that fill up, up, up. There you go. There you go. There you go. What am I missing? Oh. 
Blitz is doing a move. So this one, this one doesn't make any sense. Move no longer no longer returns an avatar, but instead returns unit. So we put these in there. There's that one. There you go. There you go. We need ration items. Yeah, this does some nothing. Yeah, right. Why would we bother with this? <clears throat> Boom. Oh, and this one's in the wrong order. So. And. Yeah. There isn't, there isn't really a change to the avatar. So this doesn't make any sense anymore. Boom. It also takes this. It also takes those. Do -do -do. There we go. And now actual is a world. Okay. No, nope, that still works. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, this one just goes right here. That one behaves nicely now. Oh, there's another one. Look at you getting down there. There's that. Up with you. You're in the wrong spot. You're in the wrong spot. Okay. Adding a metric. We need the metric grabber. Nope. We have no need of this. Clean hull. That one. But this one first. This one, this one. What? No. Does it build? Oh, okay. Still have. Still has. And boilerplate. Okay, that's fine. Nope, you're fine. And you're fine. But Okay. have it here. We don't. So I need, I need, I need these. Oh, 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 shift. Yeah, okay. Okay, you are Avatar, single message, sync, and you are avatar, single message, source, and your capital A over here. Our shipmate source, avatar, single message, single metric sync, avatar, single, avatar, 
source. Any little metric source. Now you're okay. Oh, let's get you there. Boom. Good, good. And you are avatar, single metric sync. Avatar, single metric source. Okay. You are avatar, single metric sync. Avatar, single metric source. So I know exactly where to put them. And that is the only advantage I've got with alphabetical. Avatar single metric. Avatar single metric sync. Nope. Tar single metric. Tar single metric source. So that one's got to go in here right after the avatar shipmate source. Uh, you know, let's go up there and get the thing. Down to the redness. Boom. And that builds. Still one failed. Where are we at? Up oh, we've got program. Now we have to define these two things, and then maybe, just maybe, this thing will work. Let. Let. And you are an avatar ID. Oh, we'll, put, we'll do this right. Avatar ID. Which is a string. And then you are a metric. A metric and go here, go to the thing, go to the definition and metric. So it's metric unit 64. This one's just metric. Uh, value unit 64. In your turn unit. And the way in which you do it. The way in which you do it. You say match connection avatar. I got this someplace, right? Where do I have this? I don't have it anywhere. Ah, I don't have it anywhere. So I just say raise system not implemented exception not implemented. So I think a metric source avatar ID string a metric which is a metric and returns a uint 64. And still throw that exception. But at this point, I can at this point. It should build, and which means I can take care of all my unit tests. And I'm going to have a lot. It's going to be a lot of things just broken. You're not helping me.
There we go. 120. 126. Glorious failures. Entire single metric. Sync stub. Avatar single metric sync stub. Let's go to the definition here. And this one is. We don't really care what it is. We care about the metric, which is a metric. You know what I can do here. So, all right. So, let internal expected avatar single metric sync of a expected metric expected. And you're going to be a metric times you went 64 and we don't care you're the avatar and actual trick times you went 64 equals assert no assert this one doesn't even have this does it okay that's all right open and unit then unit is assert dot which thing has give me the thing where what what are we where are we at service tests then unit dot framework of course it's dot framework And unit dot framework assert dot or equal expected FST actual FST. And it may seem a little weird that I'm doing these things doing these things separately, but it makes sense to me. Assert, assert. Tar single metric. And we'll go. Do some things. We're gonna ask print of them to here. Percent you. Actual. Actual. First. string ma ma see ma and actually this one's also in the common test fixtures of my Controller tests. We do exactly the same thing. So, all right. As long as those build, let's let's run this thing. Okay, that's 
So now, this should tell me that abandoned job one is what I'm looking, what what I'm getting. So that's a cert metric sync of metric dot abandon job one ul is that the only one Tab equals none. Oh, right. So, I gotta get rid of the metrics. Eek. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so my failures, time places to rip stuff out. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So I problem up here. There's no metrics. And the metrics. There is no are no metrics anymore. Well, they're there, but and nope. That all goes away. Contain a label call on metrics. Sure doesn't. So the experiment today is: does this fix it any better, any more, any more quickly? Then the way I was doing this. something for getting metrics at all. So what I need is, so this is the first place I need it? Here in metrics. It is, actually. So I need type uh, avatar metric source, which is a string to a map of metric unit 64. That's what I need.
and that's needed here. Well, I don't need avatar, I need avatar ID. But, all right, let's take a look. Avatar metric source, which is that. places where there's an avatar. That's it. I just need avatar ID. And that's a string. So then I can say let metrics be avatar metric source avatar ID. And we just say this is called metrics. And metrics. And there you go. And you are in need of one of these. One of those. Put you in there. Fighter, run world, that, do the thing. And you are... Ah, uh, sorry, avatar metric source. I'm not going to call you avatar metric source. Just metric. Not metrics. It's going to be better. And uh, that's fun, whatever. World dot avatar D. source. Good old avatar metric source. The source of all avatar metrics. An avatar metric source metric. It goes right here. Avatar metric source. And you are an avatar metric source. Okay, there's that. Uh, let's, and let's grab you. Just, we're gonna need you a couple more times here. And you are Avatar Metric Source. Avatar Metric Source, there you go. We need Avatar Metric Source. Avatar Metric Source. There's that. Go, hey, I don't know what that is. You didn't give me one of those. What's that? So I have avatar metric source. I'm going to say avatar metric source. I 
tab you over. Okay, avatar metric source. Takes an avatar D. Returns a map. Metric to UN64. That's what you do. And that all builds. And we can get right back. Well, maybe. Not quite yet. Oh, metrics run. Doesn't have it. Okay. Okay. Sync stuff. Where is sync stuff? Go to definition. And common test fixtures. So we'll just go with avatar. This is going to have to be organized one of these days, too. Avatar. Avatar metric source stub, which only takes that and returns a map.empty. Avatar metric source. Avatar metric source stub. There we are. The places where I sometimes need that, you don't have a metric anymore. Alright, and do we build now? Do we build? We do. We still have failing tests, because we do. Add the metric. Moved one. So it's metric moved one well. Oh. Okay, where are you? Assert. And your metric dot moved one UL and run. Sweet. It cleans the hull. What else does it do? It says clean hull one. Alright. Cert. Avatar single electric sync stub sync. <sighs> Metric cleaned hull one UL. It does make sense that that takes place. It says completed the job. Okay. It says that you completed the job. One job. This thing says that you moved. Insert, avatar that. Metric dot moved one well. And this one is probably going to be quite common. With these. So move the avatar. Yes it does. Ration and increases satiety when the given avatar has ration and less than full satiety. Where we go on. There's 
new avatar, single electric, six stuff. That one. Maybe those all pass. I think they might. I don't generally change more than one statistic at a time. Ooh, I also have eight. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we have a list. So, so actual, so, so actual list dot exists. is not as helpful with with finding things how do we do a try find try find hmm okay so we got this where we have the metric okay List dot it's a pick, it's a pick. It is a pick, I think. Try pick or try pick. Pick key not found. Excellent. Fun, A B. So it's got M B. Uh, M equal expected S T. around you. Can I just do A? Yeah, it doesn't matter what the thing is, some unit, right? It doesn't matter. Some unit. You return. You return anything. No, you don't return anything. 
Perfect. Yeah. Cool. So, assert. Nope, no assert fail. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Builders, what? What? Oh, right. Gotta make everything into a list now. It's fun. Oh, oh, oh. Go to the thing. So you're the list. That's gonna work. That's gonna do the thing. So we avatar. So those the expected ones are there. So let's do this. Actually, really, the cool thing is it allows me to specify that there are these are the it, uh, just asserts that it doesn't tell me that all of them were were taken, but. But it could. I could get it to report that out if I really wanted to. Where's this thing? It's okay, I need some way. Go to definition. What do I do a try pick? I do a try pick. Okay, so now we have an option view and then so now what do we have? You adoption. We we can't have you adoption. Okay, that's just silly. In the end, we return that. Okay. What? Um. Found equal. If found is none, then. We will assert fail as printf. Here's this thing. Percent s percent u. String actual SMD. Okay, and then 
that turns. It was okay. So now, run all these. Let's tell it eight zero. Eight zero. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think that is supposed to happen. Eight one, this one's supposed to happen. supposed to do that. This one should also do that. Moves the avatar. Do I not have any? Do I not have any food? This one's doing the thing with the turn. Oh, there's no. It didn't eat. Couldn't eat. Couldn't eat. There's no food. So, okay. So that does make sense that you would get notified that eating didn't happen. Moves the avatar. I don't think I have an inventory. I don't have an inventory source, so I could not eat. So it makes all of that. That makes all the sense. So those would work. Okay, you have a cleaned hole one. Hole one, but but so that does some nothing. Why are we bothering? Until one, yep. Cool, I'm calling it before. I think so. Okay. Oh, we have a type in the slide. Okay, what's going on? Go to definition. I need one that's a that's a that's a stub and one that's a explosion. Okay, so this is all built. So I'm gonna rename you. I'm going to have you explode. Oh, let's see. Solution. Do I do it this way? I'm a job. Does this thing? Stop. Or to R. Okay, then we're gonna find a bunch of problems. Because it doesn't want to refactor right now. I 
the next little test I want it to explode. Right? Here. And actually, we'll do it this way. No, we don't want it to explode when it is setting up our test data. That's certainly true. We want it just to whimper. So this is actually a good. This is a good refactor here. This is good. that I never get called basically is, is the tactic. If I am called, then I need to, then my stuff needs to get verified. Okay, so this should build just fine. So now it does this. So we'll take a generic dive world, go to the definition, and I don't want it to go to explode. Let me go to the definition of that. And what I want it to do is I want it to call the stub instead. So I go to the definition and then stub. Stub. And I can run you, I hope. Just the one. The definition and start with some other world. Start with generic world. We go to the definition of generic world. Generic docked world. Go to the definition of generic docked world. And that's that. It does nothing. So run. What is avatar single metric sync stub except job one? Go here, go to the finish, go. Go to here, and there should be the sink explode, unless you're not the right thing. Job 
Will you work now? Putting it there. Technish laser for what? Oh, one of them did. Okay. Got it. Got it. World test fixtures. Come on, you can do it. Aha, okay. Can I finish laser for what? Sorry, let's rebuild it. Some of this should go away. Some of this is noise. Okay, good. So we're checking for an abandoned one. That's this RTA. And you are abandoning a job? Is that abandoned job one? Why do we run ya? Alright, accepting the job. And this will say I accepted a job. This is the RTA. Yeah, I accepted job. One, go. Plink. Transform avatar. Of course, transform avatar. Moved one. Just made magic as sort. Most of these are going to be this now. Move one. So it can explode. Let's run them. So I think they're going to pass now. It may also say eating. Eight zero. Oh, okay. That's interesting now. Mm. Metric eight zero UL. Same thing for you. So let's get you over there.
Bada boom. Transfer the avatar. What is your problem? Your problem is moved one. Island one. Visiting Island, it's what we do. You might work. Oh, this one, what else? Visited Island Zero. Oh, okay. So this one's Visited Island Zero. Turns a clean doll and says, You clean the hull. It sure does. I'm sure it does. Call. What you said. Don't ask for statistics. Nice. What? Well, this one will work, right? What's going on? Here? What is this? What was? No. Oh. Okay, well, I think this now returns the unit, so this doesn't make a lick of sense. I expect it is pointless. simpler run so don't ask for statistics how do we get to don't ask for statistics let's debug yeah let's see what happens here oh that's don't ask for statistics this is going to say none or two bogus where are we? Some of the statistics. Ooh, okay. Well, you know what? It's it's not going to care as much. When it does ask, say none. Mm, I 
inventory ship may it set. What on here? Oh, uh, inventory ship may source. No, nope. inventory ship may source. Why are you getting called? Let's do what yeah. Yes. Focus. So you return nothing. It really should. It will return nothing. Turn it empty. Sync explode. Being called one. See, that's interesting to me. Even though this is a bogus avatar. But there's nothing really wrong with having this record someplace. Nothing really wrong. But something does get lost with this avatar doesn't actually exist. So don't. This guy is not there. But here you've just told him that he cleaned holes once. So that's interesting. But do I have any sort of way to go, oh, this avatar exists? Yeah, I don't know that I do. So that's interesting. There's no validation. It just goes, oh, okay, that guy just increased. It means there's garbage data. Yes, it does. So now, optometrics, metrics. What? What? Counters. What? metric source stuff. How about this? Go to the definition of this and we're just going to say sure. Go. Good. Work. Run. Up, up, up. Type initializer. World. What is world? Go to definition world. Nope. Okay. Turn single message. Sync stub moved one. Let's do this again. There aren't nearly as many, I hope. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. Rebuild it, rerun these. Come on now. What time is this? World Avatar. But. So where's world? Okay, so here's world. Build the definition of world. World create. So how in the world is this getting called anywhere? Close all the things. Close all windows. Oh, type initializer somewhere in there. Somewhere in here. Type initializer someplace in at C test fixtures. Avatar single metric sync. Explode. Should be stub. Should not explode. Okay. There isn't one, so I make one now. A stub. Which does that? Okay. Much better. Clean tell one. Okay, I can do this. Goes the definition of function under test. To take the tar single metric sync. Single metric sync, film metric sync, explode. Boom, boom, boom. careened with so now we have boom and it will be metric dot green hull Well, 
let's get to the other one. The other one that's in my service tests. A bit longer, but much better. Seems to have cleaned all one. Oh, okay, so am I not calling it? Turns Kareem with a clean hull. Insert single metric sink. Metric sink stuff. Uh -huh. My goodness, what was that? Is that a thing that I need to respond to? I have, a, I have an email. What kind of email do I get? I don't get email much. I don't get anything much. Oh, I can crush my language goal with these three tips. I need tips for crushing my language goals. Do I have a language goal? Still failing for some because for some reason, somehow. Somehow it's still getting called. I don't know where. I don't know where. So let's try this again. Let's debug. Let's find out where. Where is this getting called? Why am I pat I'm not even passing this anymore. So what what am I doing? So the controller, green, handle command, run. Oh, it's function under test. Ah, yeah. Okay, so that would be how. Function under test. Mm, now. Now you should work. Hey, all right. So now you what's your problem? Type initializer. Input world is doc world. So what's doc world look like? Doc world. Oh, so somewhere in here. <clears throat> Avatar single since so I go to the definition. Oh. Interesting. So what is going on here? There's Doc World. So it's on Doc. Go to definition Doc World. Doc World is never even makes the thing. Hmm. 
just need to look for explode. There is no explode anywhere in this. Oh, small world docked. Maybe stub. Oh, here we are. Okay. Do any more explodes in here? Oh, okay. Shop world, small world docks, small world docks. Let's rerun you. So some of you might be okay now. All of you but one. So we need abandon job one. Ooh, functional test stub. Go to the definition. You Message sync. Okay, so now there's a whole lot of this. Avatar single metric sync. And this one we will need to have here. Avatar single metric sync. Most of the time, we're going to be avatar single metric explode. Boom. So, monkey, monkey work, monkey, monkey work, hook, hook, monkey, monkey work, hook, hook, monkey, monkey work. And oop. Monkey, monkey work. We copy the pasta. We copy the pasta. We copy the pasta. Copy the pastas. Okay. Here we go. Do we build again? Still does the same thing, but now we know. Abandon job one. One UL. Sweet. All right. Now there is absolutely, and this is a good commit point. This really is. I haven't even checked out metrics to the git. A git commit with M. The metrics have been removed from the avatar record and now. Reside in the 
database. But next we need to provide a persistence layer glitter glitters and setter for the, the metrics and then wire them up through the program. That's that right there. That was an epic commit message. I don't have it's nowhere. Avatar Avatar Metrics isn't anywhere. Do I even have it in the database? Did I put it in the database? Let's take a look. I don't even have it. It's not there. It's not there. So okay, well let's make it Avatar create the table. So it's Avatar metrics. What are our fields? We have avatar D. That's a string. That's a text. It's text. It's not null. It's part of the primary key. Uh, we also have a metric ID. That one is an integer. That one's not null. That one's part of the primary key. And then we have a metric value with a capital B. That one's an integer and that one's not null. But, more importantly, value greater than zero. It has to be greater than zero. I don't want it in there if it's zero. If you ask for it, it'll return you to zero. So that's not null. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Alright. Write the changes there. So then let's go over to the persister. Get to the persistence schema. So, and you know what I need to do here. So I wonder. Commodities, commodity item. So this needs help. This needs help in a bad way. We're gonna do it right now. We only have a couple minutes. We have to wake up my wife in five minutes. But my my answer to life. Is to alphabetize things. Commodity T yep. Okay, that's correct. Uh, items, yep. Item. Yep, messages, ration items, sh shipmate statistics. Of course. Maybe I don't do this right now. No, I do it because vessel statistic test statistics world statistics. Yeah. Avatar inventories. It was already kind of here. Boom, boom. Next, shipmate something. Statistic templates. Nope, okay, that's not where you go. That's where you go. Terms, vessel, vessel, statistics. Okay. So now it's avatar metrics. Avatar metrics. One, two, three, four. Let avatar metrics string equal. There's going to be something. 
Man, I suppose I need to open this battery and break back up. What is this warning me about? Okay. It's almost time for me to go up there anyway. Let's get this in. Turn metrics, modify this table. Copy. Go. The term metrics. That. 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 Put you here and. Here and create table if not exists. And there we are. Yeah, it's time for me to wake up. Go wake people up. We gotta do that. Because it's that time of the day. I gotta get some more coffee anyway. So, be right back. Do it, 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 do it,
myself coffee but I did get myself some soda so that's a thing. So avatar metrics. What are we doing in persistence? Persistence. It's in persistence test. So we go here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say set up avatar metrics. Well it's only one C. Set up avatar metrics, which takes a connection, which is a SQLite connection, and returns a unit. Run commands connection. It's going to be tables avatar metrics. And what do we do when we're, whenever we're adding stuff? When we're adding some value. Yeah, do something like this. So I do this down here. Very similar to my term metrics. And you're just gonna be metric to metric. Right map da da you are gonna be avatar metrics. Replace into avatar metrics. Here's an avatar ID. Here's a metric ID. There is a metric value with a capital M. Metric value, the values are, I'm going to have a percent S for one thing, percent S. I'm just going to have a one, just going to be one. Uh, let's have a, a metrics avatar D. Our ID string. Boom, boom, boom. Near the avatar ID. Avatar ID. To a unit. Okay, cool. So the avatar metrics. So replace an avatar metrics to the thing. 
And just by building and running the tests, I will tell whether or not that's valid SQL. Because it's going to tell me. Okay, let's rebuild, look at our tests, and if everything fails, then we did it wrong. Oh, Aptometrics existing, and it's already. The persistence tests all fail because what happened? No such column avatar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and again, because of that, then we're all fine. So what becomes obvious though, is we now have a, we know that we have a need for three, exactly three uh, persistence, persistent, persistence, avatar metric persistence things. That's what we have. So we're going to go avatar metric head below, avatar metrics tests, have a Studio was tired. I did, didn't didn't like that at all. <laughs> Visual Studio just rage quit on me. That's kind of funny. So let's let's open you up. Open edit project file. You know, <laughs> every time, every time these sorts of things happen, I just gotta check for errors. Yep, there's good old file one. Thanks, file one. <laughs> Man, add below and a new one. Okay, we'll wait. Avatar, avatar metric tests. Ooh, all right. Now the one that was like vessel statistic item of like get list, it returns a list of statistics. It's expected count. Expected count. So you know what? This is not the worst test in the world to start with. So let's do the thing where I get all the metrics. Get list returns a list of metrics for an avatar. So avatar metric get for avatar. And we're going to try with a let avatar ID equal existing avatar ID or ID or an avatar that exists. ID, get me that, get me that, da da da, and they are actually metric. But by the same token, yes, I'm violating the rule of one test at a time. Returns it was an empty list for an avatar that does not exist. Just go. And then uh, new avatar ID. So then now I need an avatar metric. I need my avatar metric class, which I should add below here. 
to our avatar metric class. Trick class. And that's a little statistic. So we need these things above it. Equals. Now I need I need at least a You know what though? This might just this might I might be able to grab it and make it work. The map of metric to the UNT sixty four. Something here. So converter is. So I need to con need like need the converter from over here. The converter changes me into a metric times the went sixty four. So I just really need result map items. So just map up a list. Yeah, it totally is. But so, comma, what? Reader get point sixty four. You went sixty four. Num metric. Blah blah. One. We're going to get metric ID and metric value. From avatar metrics, where avatar ID is dollar sign avatar ID. And command command dot parameters add with value. Avatar ID, we take avatar ID of the parameter list. It doesn't exist yet because, of course, it doesn't. Avatar ID is a string. Up oh, and you need to be ignored. You might even pass. That's unfortunate. Get for avatar. What is get for? Get for avatar. Oh, I didn't didn't call it right. So get for avatar. This will explode because that table doesn't exist. My persistence test says, Oh, you're broken because you didn't SQL correctly. But now, if you're sequeling correctly, this may work just fine.
Oop, still kind of failing. D-list for the thing that doesn't exist. Oh, expected count is zero. Bad test. Run new. It should work. It's not called get list. It's called get for avatar. And we're going to have a test called. Get metric, get metric for avatar. That's the name of the function. Get metric for avatar. It returns zero when the metric does not exist for the given avatar. So for new avatar ID, it doesn't have that, and whichever metric doesn't matter what the metric is. Metric dot how many times you've moved. Expected count is zero, expected count is an actual uh, <clears throat> expected value is zero UL. Expected value Actual to the actual so now I should run it and it should say that Whoop. we don't have get metric for avatar. So I need get magic crabs. So those all the things. So those all but this. Let's go to here. Go to the definition. Keep you. So let's get metric for avatar. Avatar ID, which is a string. Connection, which is a SQL light. Connection uh, metric to the metric. Result sixty four string equals raise system not a domestic exception. Not Ah, uh, come on. Not implement exception. Get metric for avatar. It is not implemented. Run it, see it fail. Exists for the avatar. 
This one is existing avatar. It has to be one UL. They should both fit really. It doesn't do anything, it blows up. So now, I'm going to do a try with x, x to string, try nothing with the uh, error. Zero UL with no, not O, zero UL. Okay. So now one of them should pass. Let's actually have, a have it do a thing. So, use command equals new SQLite command something is from the connection. Um, select metric value from Avatar metrics where avatar ID equals dollar sign avatar ID and metric ID equals dollar sign trick ID <sighs> command dot Parameters add with value dollar sign avatar ID. That's going to be the avatar ID. And ignore parameters add with value dollar sign metric ID metric. Ignore and execute scalar. Execute scalar. Execute reader. I'll say what reader do that. What do we have when we execute these readers? Converter reader dot. Yep, let's go to the thing. Read entities. Read entities. If read them. If reader dot read. Then else. Reader dot get int sixty four. Change that to your int sixty four zero. Sixty four and making you okay. And then it should probably work. Oh, 
on your work. How nice is that? I'm done. We're so close. We are so close. At this point, we're down to just having the setter, just having the sink. But that's going to be it for today. And there's only one of you. So get off my lawn.